when they call something something an opening catastrophe they mean they lose uh, some strategic or uh, tactical uh, stuff which is quite minor let's say Ariane loses a pawn and then he uh, uh, he's uh, he, he's very miserable for that fact and he al almost wants to resign because on that level um, the mistakes are very minor if somebody loses a tempo in the opening that's a big deal if, if they create an, a non necessary weakness or uh, lose uh, some uh, minor pawn on a2 or h7 they already um, feel in big trouble okay but that has nothing to do with uh, the level of playing of uh, you know just normal people who usually play let's say from 1600 to 2200 I proxy I, I think that that's approximately the level of my audience so that's where I'm aiming and shooting at okay so my games are much more understandable and appropriate to this level and of course the third reason is that since I personally have played those games uh, I understand them much much uh, deeper and more thoroughly than uh, even if I annotate a game between Karpov and Kasparov you know that that's sometimes beyond the level of my comprehension and let alone the level of comprehension of 1800 player so uh, every player usually knows knows his own games the best he knows why he did certain things and he did not do some other things etc so with all that in mind uh, let me show you my recent game that I was uh, basically blatantly crushed by uh, an experienced grandmaster allegation he is a former twice world youth champion under 14 and 16 so uh, so let us start and uh, if war okay that move has already surprised me because I've prepared to d4 okay so miss shooting on my opening preparation is let's say mistake number one so I was afraid to go into my usual stuff of Sicilian uh, c5 etc so instead I thought for about five ten minutes and decided to play um, something out of the box and uh, to divert from my opponents possible opening preparation because I was afraid that he had prepared something uh, not in dangerous for me while be while I, I was very unprepared for that so I decided to play the Scandinavian defense which I've played a few times in my life with the uh, intermediate success so well standard theory so far nothing interesting now bishop c4 the the more a uh, standard move is knight f3 but bishop c4 is uh, an option of course as well uh, white wants to retain the option of developing this knight to e2 and not only to f3 uh, okay knight c6 one of the possible continuation for black here the other moves are uh, bishop g4 or preferably c6 I think there is also g6 but I don't like uh, don't like uh, that move before uh, before developing uh, some additional pieces because I mean g6 uh, there could be some problem with that and knight goes to e5 could be a bit unpleasant for black so knight c6 is one of the options it's theory nothing interesting so far and now d5 that move caught me by surprise uh, actually I've never encountered that move and didn't even think it was possible uh, once I think something like 15 years ago I had a game against Grandmaster Emil Sotovsky uh, now he's 2650 then he was about 26 
uh, uh, hundred, which is just as good, and he played ninety two. I played this. This is quite standard theory, quite interesting variation. Despite having those two uh, isolated and weak pawns, uh, due to the pressure along the D file after the long castle, uh, the position is not clearly in White's favor. I mean, black has its counter chances, so the game went something like that now. <laughs>